Hey guys, what's going on? Alright, so you're back with HodgePodge 2018 on eBay. Um, I bought two more jars. So, uh, these are for my local Goodwill. You should definitely check your Goodwill. Uh, $65.94 on this jar, $65.94 on this jar, way about eight or nine pounds a piece. So, as always, typical tools. We got the magnet, we got the scale, we got the jeweler's loop, aka magnification lens device. Boom. Mine's got a little light in it. Super fancy and awesome. Uh, super cheap on eBay or Amazon, wherever you like to shop. So, first things first. Let's rip into which one? Uh, let's go biggest one first. Um, so, I kind of bought these on a whim again. And, uh, you know, just buy now, ask questions later. That's my mantra. Sorry, I had to disappear to get some scissors. Got to cut this bad boy open. Um, so, I'm going to turn it down here so you guys can get a good look at what I'm doing. All right. So, we've got this guy. We're going to start ripping into it. Of course, sold as is. Now, I did see some silver in this one. So, I do know there's some silver in here. Uh, but we're just going to make us a little costume pile. And, of course... A lot of people have asked, well, Eddie, what do you do with all that costume? Well, of course, the costume I have a buyer for, uh, a girl who lives nearby. I put it all in big old bags, and I sell it to her for like, you know, 30 bucks for a Ziploc bag full. Um, usually she buys $100 or so at a time. I make it worth her while. And uh, people go, well, Eddie, you could just sell that yourself on eBay. Costume. I could. But the, the amount of time it would take to just go through all of this jewelry, I'd rather just go through and pick the gold out and, uh, you know, call it a day. I pick the gold and silver out. I sell all the other stuff bulk. And this one seems to be pretty heavy costume. And you see here we got a rare earth magnet. Now that looks like silver. If you look at it, it looks like sterling. But if you stick the magnet to it, boom, it sticks to it. So that is costume of some sort um watches i have a watch box where i put all the watches so i always pull the watches i don't sell those to my costume buyer um now anytime you come across brown beads that look like this you should check them and make sure that they're not amber uh, if these were amber they would be pretty valuable now these are quite lightweight and I don't think they're amber, but I am going to test them. You can float test these in a salt water mix in a cup. Um, you can look on Google how to actually do that. Uh, it looks like it's just basic plastic with swirls. Um, but I sure would hate to sell it to the costume girl and find out later that it was amber. Uh, it does have a decent clasp on it, so that's a good sign. So we'll test that later. <clears throat> Anytime you find any yellow like this, take a Q-tip. And rub it on there with a 409 on the Q-tip. And if it comes back yellow on your Q-tip, then you've got Bakelite. And we're going to definitely check this to see if it's Bakelite. It may or may not be. Um, that's an interesting costume piece there with the big, big coin on it. All right, we're digging, we're digging. Costume. Costume. All right, there's a nice sterling ring right there. Uh, it's got amethyst, um, pink stone of some sort, topaz, and that might be a citrine. It's marked 925 inside. It's not missing any stones. We'll put that in the sonic cleaner. That'll clean up real nice. I'll ask $30 for that ring, and it should sell. So that's a cool little piece. <clears throat> There's some uh, costume jewelry that probably would sell. Roman earrings, so we'll pull those. Anytime I find a good name, I'll pull them from the lot. Uh, Keychains, we just throw those in the costume lot. Brooches, costume, costume. There's a watch for our watch box. Now, folks, I will be honest with you. I look at this like a business expense for my business. So if I lose money, it's really not that big of a deal. That's a nice little Timex. Because, you know, this is a lot of inventory on one ticket. Uh, so, you know, it allows you to file your business expenses maybe a little better. 
and you know it's always good to just invest in your company and get more product Sarah Coventry that'll be S-A-R-A-H-C-O-V um, and this is Roman also costume this matches the earring so that'll be probably $40, $50 set there so we haven't lost any money on this jar and that's great Ooh, there's a real nice sterling ring 925 probably a CZ or a crystal that's probably 20 30 bucks it's got a nice shimmer to it okay cuff link <clears throat> hope everybody's staying safe from the corona we have not had it here yet in our household uh oh folks that's why we buy the jar right there people um this is gold. I cannot tell you if it's 10 or 14. Oh, 14 carat. Boom. 14K, baby. That's what we do it for. Now there's, it looks like it actually, it's, this is funny. Somebody's made a little redneck repair, if you will, and they've stuck this silver clasp on there. So this is purely scrap value gold. Um, we could repair it if we wanted to. But I'm just going to scrap it because it's 14 karat. I'll pull that off of there and I'll weigh that up. But that's pretty heavy. So that's exciting. Didn't expect that. Um, there's a nice little watch. Rotary. Electro gold plated 5 microns. I'll have to check that out. That's probably a quality watch there. Boom. More costume for the costume pile. Costume. Costume girl's going to be happy. All that costume. All right, that's the end of the jar there. Got a little costume bracelet. Um, and all this is costume. There's a Loris watch. That's a good watch. Walmart, but it's still a good watch. And there's our other earring that we were looking for to match that set. All right, so that jar is done. We did get a piece of gold. Boom. All right. We're gonna rip into the other one. Let's see what's in there. Costume right on top. Always check the inside of the bangle for 925 or gold. Ooh, there's a silver ring right on top. Oh, that's a nice ring. Pretty cool ring there. Here, sorry about the directional issue since it's upside down, it's a little hard to tell. <clears throat> Some more costume coming out of the hole. Here's another watch for our watch box. I do check the watches, folks. If it's a quality brand, you know, I'm obviously going to pull that and sell that separately. These shells are pretty cool. Those sell. Um, I don't sell them, but I know people do. Um, costume pearls now of course there's a, a easy way to test pearls if you want to you can put them between your teeth and if they taste salty or gritty they are real um, you might want to clean them before you do that though there's a nice pendant brooch if you will and some leather wear that's a I've never seen that before it's a watch I guess belt I don't know it's a little too wide to be a bracelet and here we've got some of your common gold plate that people always think is real when they look at it, but it's not. Now there's a nice brooch. It's not marked, but it's very deco. I'm going to keep that and sell that on eBay for 20 bucks, 20 or 30 at least. Okay. Still digging costume. These are from Hawaii. Uh, I went to Hawaii and actually picked up some of these for my wife whenever I was there. These are made from their local uh, nut tree, and the natives paint those. So that's kind of cool. All right. I got a buyer for cat stuff, so I'll sell that little cat brooch. Um, oh, this is interesting. Avon. Avon's usually cheap stuff. You might find a silver piece, but usually it's cheap costume stuff. Costume. Big old costume piece. Although, that beaded stuff, you know, that kind of has a, a different crowd. You might pull the Native American buyers with the beaded stuff. So I actually, yeah, we'll costume it. Alright, going to the bottom. 
The fish is cool enough that I can sell it by itself. Fish brooch. I'll pull that. There's a silver ring. That's the silver that I saw in there. So I knew it was, you know, one ring. Um, actually, and it's not silver. It fooled me. It actually says Claire's on the inside. So I doubt it's sterling because it's pretty heavy. So you can stick the magnet to it. It does have pull. Yes, I don't think that's sterling. And a bunch of costume. More costume. And it looks like more costume. Oh, no. Oh, nice. This is a sterling piece. I've got to repair the clasp, but that's all sterling. Uh, and that weighs a little bit, so let's see. To my silver buyer, I can get... Sixteen bucks. Yeah. Okay. So that wasn't a bust. There's some silver. There's some gold. There's a couple of keeper brooches. And a big pile of watches. So, that's not bad. Alright. So thanks for joining. That's our finds for the day. Um, I'm going to weigh up this gold right now real quick. Just bear with me uh, while I get this little repair piece off. Okay. So we've got this 14 karat gold bracelet. Uh, it does not have a clasp and it's been crushed on the end, so it is purely scrap. And 14K, 3.4 grams. So that's, uh, let's see, 40, that's about 120 bucks right there. So uh, we paid 65 a jar, so we're into the jars for 130. And we just got back all of our money just about on one bracelet. So that's how you buy a jewelry jar. That's how you go through it. This is what you want. You want gold. Might not be a lot, but you know, you get a big pile of that doing pretty good. Uh, I'm sitting on a few ounces right now. I'm just kind of watching the market. Gold rises like the stock market. And then of course it does drop. So you got to know when to hold and when to sell. So I guess that's it for today. Uh, we got the gold, we got the silver, and we got some random watches and such and some costume. The rest of the stuff we're going to give to our costume buyer, sell to her. She'll do well. She'll come back and buy more from us. And that's the name of the game. Just keep it moving. Keep rolling through. Don't get too caught up in the stuff. Don't get too stagnant. People say, well, I'm getting burned out, Eddie. I've been doing this for four years, full time. My numbers are really high. They're the best they've ever been. Uh, I'm making the best money I've ever made in my life. Uh, this is a dream come true, literally. But it gets better because I want it to get better. I pursue other leads. I have people dropping me off stuff to sell all the time. Hey, Eddie, if you can't do anything, just donate it. That's free money. Uh, put yourself out there. Tell people what you're doing for a living. Tell them, uh, you know, hey, I buy anything. I'll look at anything. Because it doesn't cost you anything to look, okay? And that's what you need to understand. In this business, it doesn't cost you anything to look. So look as much as you can and take it all in and try to learn. And one day you might find, uh, for example, an $8,900 jar sitting at the Goodwill in the middle of the afternoon. Um, I did that. And, uh, and also, one day you might walk in on a Friday morning and find gold hanging out in a jar. So, take risk, have fun, and subscribe, like, share. If you're on Facebook, please join my group. Uh, you go to the Facebook search bar and just type in resellers research group flippers thrifters and then it'll come up it's a resellers research group flippers thrifters buyers and more uh, we're pushing 6,000 members now we're growing rapidly every day I add 30 or 40 people um, it's a great group to just share in and learn from and that's really why I created it uh, and I hope that I can grow my YouTube uh, to kind of meet that group and have you know as many subscribers and followers. I don't have as much time for this as I would like to, but I promise to try to be a little better about it. <coughs> um, water. Keep water nearby. Wow. So that's it. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, see you later.